Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee. Today I want to show you what a normal, in air quotes, brain map looks like. So I don't like the word normal. Uh, there is no such thing as normal, so we can talk about that at a different time. But for today, we are going to look at an optimal or a typical brain map. So the way brain mapping works, just to remind you, is when you go to your neurofeedback provider and you have your QEEG brain map taken, it's like an x-ray of brain functioning. So the way that it works is you put a cap on, nothing is done to you. That cap reads how every area of your brain is operating. And these are examples of the speeds that would be analyzed in a QEEG brain map. So the way that it works is once your brain map has been taken, it gets uploaded to a very large database of brains of all ages and your brain map is compared to people of the same age. That's how we know if your brain is doing what it should for your age. So if you think about it, brains are changing across our lifetime. So that's why we compare it to age match peers. It's called a normative database. Okay, so the way that it works is, if your brain map came back perfect, it's doing exactly what we want it to do for your age, your brain map would be all green. So you can see on these heads, these are example of heads, the nose is here, ears are here, that these heads represent the different brain speeds, processing speeds. So we start here with delta, theta, alpha, beta, and high beta. And if you remember, theta, delta and theta are slow speeds, extra slow and slow respectively. Alpha is medium speed and beta and high beta are fast and extra fast speed. So when we see these different heads, it shows us how your brain is using each one of those speeds. And if you remember, different brain patterns are made up of different areas that are not using speed properly. Some areas are using too much of a speed. For example, ADHD is using much too much theta. Anxiety is using much too much high beta and other diagnoses are using too little of a speed. So if someone has memory loss or cognitive decline, that is not enough beta, perfect processing speed for thinking. So if you go to my Lee Brain and Spine office website, on every tab for every challenge that someone is struggling with, there's an example of the brain map there. So you'll see on those brain maps, they're all different colors. The colors represent which speed is being used too much or too little. So on those maps, some of the heads will be blue, too little of a speed. Others will be yellow, orange, and red, too much of a speed. And the combination of the colors shows your neuro neurofeedback provider what they need to do to get your brain back to the green zone, as I call it. So here, when it's all green, it means every area of your brain is performing optimally. Okay, so I hope that helps you figure out how to interpret your brain map and you know what you're uh, striving for in adjusting those blues and those reds and yellows to get them back to green. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe below so that I can show you more about brain mapping and how to optimize your brain pattern.